Well, on table six, it's a class nine quarter final representing the People's Republic of China. Marlin. Representing France, Frederic Bellet. The umpire is Avril Roberts from New Zealand and the assistant umpire Victor Hugo Ticacala from Argentina. On table five, it's a class one group stage match representing Austria, Andrea Vivera. Representing Great Britain, Paul Davis. The umpire is Gamal Abdel Nasser from Egypt and the assistant umpire Bernhard Karau from Germany. On table two, it's a class 10 group stage match representing People's Republic of China, Fan Lei. Representing France, Audrey Lemorvan. The umpire is Ben Foote from Great Britain and the assistant umpire Stan Clark, also from Great Britain. On table three, it's a class one match representing France, Jean-Francois Duquet. Representing Great Britain, Robert Davis. Your umpire is Alawi Balgaik from Qatar and the assistant umpire Neil Montfort from Australia. On table one, it's a class one group stage match. Representing Germany, Holger Nicholas. Representing Republic of Korea, Cho Jae Kwan. The umpire is Boris Racco from Slovakia and the assistant umpire Neil Curtis from Great Britain. On table four, it's a class 10 match. Representing Australia, Melissa Tapper. Representing Brazil, Bruna Alexandra. The umpire is Tim LePage from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Karen Tong from Great Britain. On table seven, it's a class one group stage match. Representing Republic of Korea, Lee Chang-ho. Representing France, Jerome Gesnek. Your umpire is Zhang Yingqiu from the People's Republic of China and the assistant umpire Margot Fraser from Great Britain. On table eight, it's a class nine quarter final. Representing France, Cedric Cabastani. Representing Ukraine, Yuri Shapansky. Your umpire is Michael Payne from Great Britain the assistant umpire Marta Zilli from Hungary. Ladies and gentlemen, the men's and women's singles at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first quarterfinals of these Paralympic Games. They're on table six and table eight for you this morning. Keep your eye on Ma Lin of the People's Republic of China on table six. He is the world number one in his class. Now, if you want to hear more about the sport, you can. Top table tennis coach and former Great Britain Olympian Alison Bro will be offering an in-ear commentary on all the big screen matches this morning. Just pick up a headset from your nearest programme seller for £10. Just a reminder for you that out of courtesy to the athletes, flash photography 
is not permitted inside this arena. So it's almost time again. Put your hands together. Get behind the players. It's the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Thank you. Good morning, this is Alison Bro. First game, Kalis to serve. Group stage preliminary, group B. Men's classification one match between Nikelis from Germany, age 34, one, one. Republic of Korea. Both men won their opening games. So they are both playing for a semi-final spot. 16 players in this men's classification one wheelchair. The Paralympic Games here in London. Both trying to get into the semi-final stages. And 65. One, three. Preliminary. Match. Unaware that one four chair event has five classifications. The one being for the most severely disabled. This being the number one. 
4-2. Going down to class number five. For the least disabled. Both men won that opening encounter. 4-3. to secure their place in the semi-final. Four! One from the Republic of Korea, on silver in the singles event in Beijing at the Paralympic Games. Nicholas in the black shirt, playing for Germany. Five, four! He's world champion in 2006 and 2010. He's previously won gold Paralympic Games in 2004. So both these players are very experienced. Both have had Paralympic competitions. Five all. Both men, as you will notice. No, sorry, just Five. the Korean player has to strap the bat to his arm. Five, seven. One now with a two point advantage. Six, seven. Service techniques. The Korean actually does throw the ball up. Nine, his non playing six. hand. The German actually starts the service action with the ball on the racket, flipping the rack ball up from the racket. Each classification. Seven, holds different ranges of disabilities, so they all come to the table with their service Seven, rules. Ten. They can serve in different ways. They just have to, depending on their disability, they just have to inform the umpire before how they serve. So that's why you will notice that they have, they both ten, have different rules that they have to follow. Obviously, the ball should be thrown up six inches and from your non-playing hand with the flat hand. These disabled players find this very difficult, so you will notice a variation in their service actions. And you will also notice a lot of the up and under shot there played by the German, flipping the ball high in the air with backspin, a bit like a sand wedge. Making it so difficult to return. Korean player now just with a one point advantage. Final. Another up and under play by the German. Ten ten in this first first game. Eleven. 
Nicholas bouncing the ball on his racket. The ball serves, flipping the ball up with his racket. Trying to impart different spins on the serve. Game 13-11, the first game. Secured by the German in his best of five. Winner moving forward to the semi final stage of the competition. Both of these players having won their first games in the group of three, so the winner of this match will go through to the semi finals. So difficult for these class one athletes when they've got the up and under, they have to lunge forward. A lot of them find it difficult, having got a lot of strength in their core muscles, so once they have gone forward, they can't. Then we cover back to the chairs. Second game. So you do tend to notice the rallies are Thank you very, much. very short in length. Second game. Recovery being Joseph a key serve. factor. Level. Both men back to the table now for the start of the second end. Love one. The Korean now with two point advantage, three one. And up and under there with a little bit of side spin, took taking the ball away from the German. Three two, right to the ball. Wrap their rackets to their hands. So they find it so difficult to grip the blade or the backhand Well, a very good afternoon to you, wherever you may be watching right around the world. My name's Amy Bainbridge. This is Paralympic Sport TV's coverage of the cycling track competition. And what a big afternoon we have ahead. I can tell you now, we have four gold medals to be decided. The event to kick us off in the 